This is the fifth video in our short series on configuring the Patch My PC SCUP catalog. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can do maintenance in our SCUP console by deleting and ensuring that we publish any expired updates. What you'll notice is after a period of time, you're going to have a lot of expired updates build up. So since October 2015 and January 2016, you can see that we have a lot of versions of Skype that got expired. That's because there was a newer release, and whenever there's a newer release, we will expire the older versions. So as this happens over time, when you're working with 50 plus updates, you're going to notice that your catalog is going to have a lot of expired updates listed there. We're going to talk about how to remove those and ensure that they are removed correctly. So the first thing that we recommend doing before we expire updates is going and importing the latest catalog. So that will ensure that we have the latest list of updates that are expired. Now about every three months we'll release a catalog update. So in our normal catalog update you'll see that we have a section called changes. And in here we'll list any expired updates that we deleted from our catalog file that we're hosting on our web server. So for example, we can see all these older Skype versions that we have listed in our local SCUP console. We now deleted them from the cab files that we're hosting on the web server. So what we recommend doing is after you've imported the latest catalog update that includes these deletions, we recommend going to all software updates and then sorting by expired. And then what we can do, we can select every update that's expired. And then we can simply choose publish. And then we'll leave the default automatic type and then do next on this. So you can see we have a list of 184 updates that are expired. And the reason we wanted to publish these is just in case you never did publish those expired updates within um, SCUP to WSUS, they would still remain active in SCCM and machines could potentially try to install them. And then what we want to do is we can go ahead and delete them from SCUP. The reason we published them was just in case we deleted them, then we wouldn't have the ability to publish them because we we wouldn't have the updates re-imported because they're no longer in the catalog on the web server where we import it from. So we'll go ahead and choose yes on this. Now if you're doing a large batch of updates, sometimes SCUP may time out. If it does that, you can just select a, lar a smaller batch of them at, at a time. And it did in fact time out on me, so I'm just going to open it up again. And we'll just do the same process where we sort by expired. And we'll just sort by expired equals yes. And then we'll just work through smaller groups at a time. And I'll go ahead and pause while I do. Okay, now we've deleted all our expired updates. So we only have non-expired updates. Now what I'm going to do is import the catalog one more time. We don't delete every expired update from the catalog. We typically will keep the last expired update just in case we have customers that need to import the, the latest expired one and publish that. So you can see we will bring in some updates that were expired when we do the latest import, but it will be much fewer than we had before and that will help keep things running smoothly. So you can see, for example, for SCUP, for Skype, we only have the latest two expired instead of the last 10. Now, if you ever did delete an update, one of the expired updates on accident before you published it, you will have the ability to go and do a cleanup. So under the advanced tab, you can run a cleanup. And then what this will do is if there's any third party updates from SCUP that exist in SCCM, but they don't exist in, in SCUP, it will list them here and that will give you the ability to expire the updates. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the 
when we publish a new update and it also contains an expired update so for example we're going to look at the January 14th 2016 catalog in this update we can see that we released an updated version of Google Chrome and we expired one of the older versions of Google Chrome now in our console we can see that we have the older version currently active in SCCM so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate importing the catalog so I, I updated this version to be that release for our demo so what we'll see here is we're going to have Google Chrome saying that it's been changed we're going to go ahead and choose yes to all so any update that was expired will show up here and then what I typically like doing here is we can sort by date modified. And then we can see all the latest updates that were modified on the 14th. And that's going to be the 14th was when this update was released. So we can see all these different updates here that have been expired and the ones that are active now. So for example, we have Google Chrome. We can see the new version here that was released in the catalog. And then we can also see the old version. We can see that the old version got marked as expired because we marked that in our catalog. But we want to make sure we publish that to WSUS so it will show up as expired in SCCM. So I'm going to select both of these updates and choose publish. I'm going to choose full content for this scenario since I want to deploy the new Google Chrome update with full content. I'm going to choose to always accept the certificate. So now that the updates are published, so we expired the older version of Google Chrome, which is this one, and then we published the new one with full content, I'm going to go ahead and force the synchronization of our software update point in SCCM. Okay, it looks like that completed. So now we can see that our software update, the old one, is now showing expired in SCCM, and then we have our new one showing active and ready to deploy. So this is why it's important. You want to make sure you do publish the expired updates from SCUP so that they show up expired in SCCM so they no longer try to get installed.